A student fires a cannonball horizontally with a speed of 40 meters per second from a height of 71 meters. Neglect track. All right, in this video, we are solving a two-dimensional problem. So there we need to find five given before we get started. Remember, we're gonna break this up into the horizontal components and the vertical components. So let's start with that initial speed of 40 meters per second. It tells us it's horizontal. We also see that it's to the right. We're defining our positive directions as up and to the right. So that is our initial horizontal velocity of positive 40 meters per second. Then our height of 71 meters. Height is measured up and down this building. So that is going to be our vertical displacement, but be careful, make sure we put a negative on that, negative 71 meters. This is a free fall problem. Once the cannonball leaves the cannon, it will be in free fall for the duration of its flight. So the horizontal acceleration is zero. The vertical acceleration is negative 10 meters per second squared. Your teacher might be using 9.81. All right, and that is four given. We need one more. The other one's a little bit tricky. When this cannonball was fired, it was shot straight out. That means it was not shot up or down. So at the start of the problem, the initial vertical velocity is zero. All right, as usual, we have three given on the vertical side. That means we can start by solving that. Remember we said this one is probably worth memorizing, but the final velocity is equals plus or minus the square root of two a delta y as long as the initial velocity is zero. So plugging in there, I can get the square root of two times negative 10 times negative 71, which gives me 37.7. And I choose the negative since it's going downwards. And to get my time, I can do V final minus V initial divided by a, and that will just give me 3.77 seconds. All right, we can actually go ahead, let's answer the first three questions. The initial horizontal velocity was 40 meters per second. Initial vertical was zero. The ball remained in the air for 3.77 seconds. All right, so moving over to the horizontal side, I can use that same time of 3.77 seconds. Since the ball will move down for just as long as it will move to the right, the whole problem, the whole flight. I know my speed is constant. And if my speed is constant to find the displacement, I can just do that constant speed times the time, or 40, times 3.77, which gives me 151 meters. 